Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. 今回は fed up という表現を紹介します。ほとんどの日本人が使っていないような気がしますね。皆さんどうですか使っていますか fed up の意味はですね、うんざり、もう嫌、飽きた、そんな感じですね。ここからは英語で喋りますので、皆さん、頑張って最後まで見てくださいね。フェラップにならないように、頑張ります。Let's get started.I'm going to talk about two different patterns of how to use fed up.Now, the first pattern is fed up with plus noun or noun phrase.Now, we usually use the word with when we are talking about a person, a thing, Or a situation. Here are a few examples. I'm fed up with English. Don't want to do it anymore. I'm fed up with her. Now, if you want to give a bit more emphasis,、uh, with a bit more oomph, <coughs> then you can use <laughs> phrases like these I'm totally fed up with. I'm completely fed up with. I'm well and truly fed up with. I'm so fed up with. I'm fed up with your lies. I packed in my job because I was fed up with it. Now that's an interesting expression. Pack in. I packed in my job. So when you pack something in, it means you quit. You don't want to do it anymore. I packed in my job. People were fed up with the outdated system. I'm fed up with this rain. I'm fed up with the way things are done at work. So, fed up with the way things are done. I'm not happy with the system or the way things are done. I'm fed up with the way things are done at work. I'm fed up with your nonsense. I'm fed up with the abysmal weather in this country. So, a lot of people say that in the UK actually. So, the word abysmal. It means very, very bad, absolutely awful, abysmal. I'm fed up with the abysmal weather in this country. I'm fed up with your complaints. It's time for a pop quiz. Now, the first question is This is the fifth weekend, something, something, that I've spent working, and I'm a bit fed up with it. The choices are A. Concession, B. In a rut, C. Conscious, D. In a row. And the answer is D in a row. The expression in a row means one after the other. There's no break in between. This is the fifth weekend in a row. That's five weeks in total. Oh my goodness, that's some hard work. Let's take a look at the English in action. All she talks about is her boyfriend. And she tells the same stories all the time. I'm so fed up with her. And another thing, you know, she started a new job, right? Well, she's already talking about packing it in and getting a new one. So I went, You're not fed up with it already, are you? And she went, Oh, it's my supervisor. He's so bossy. He keeps telling me what to do. She just needs to grow up. I'm fed up with her abysmal attitude. Let's look at some of the key points. The first one was, I'm so fed up with her. I'm so fed up with her. You're not fed up with it already, are you? You're not fed up with it already, are you? I'm fed up with her abysmal attitude. I'm fed up with her abysmal attitude. Let's listen to the whole thing again. All she talks about is her boyfriend, and she tells the same stories all the time. I'm so fed up with her. 
And another thing, you know she started a new job, right? Well, she's already talking about packing it in and getting a new one. So I went, you're not fed up with it already, are you? And she went, oh, it's my supervisor. He's so bossy. He keeps telling me what to do. She just needs to grow up. I'm fed up with her abysmal attitude. チャンネルを登録してくださいね。えー、あとは、いいね、押してください。何かわからないことがあったら、ぜひぜひあのコメント欄のところに、えー、何でも聞いてください。ちゃんと返事しますよ。Okay, thank you very much. The second pattern is fed up with plus an ing. Now, actually, you don't need to use the word with when it's followed by an ing verb. Let's take a look at a few examples. I'm fed up with always backing you up. Or, I'm fed up always backing you up. We got fed up with being stuck in one place. We got fed up being stuck in one place. So, in this case, you don't have to use the with. We got fed up. Being stuck in one place. It's the same meaning. I'm fed up with dating you. I'm fed up dating you. I'm fed up with studying every day. I'm fed up studying every day. I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. I'm fed up with working day in and day out. I'm fed up working day in and day out. He's fed up with hearing that story. He's fed up hearing that story. Yep, I know what he means. I sometimes get fed up hearing the same stories too. It's time for a pop quiz. Okay, the second one is We were fed up with our internet service and finally, something something, to Verizon last month. The choices are A. Chose B. Switched C. Contracted D. Got And the answer is B. Switched. So we switched. To Verizon last month. We were fed up with our internet service and finally switched to Verizon last month. Let's look at the English in action part two. I'm fed up with cooking, I'm fed up with cleaning, and above all, I'm fed up with my husband sitting around the house all day doing absolutely nothing. I don't know how he does it. He just sits there in front of the TV and ends up. Fast asleep half the time. It's amazing. If I were him, I'd be completely fed up with being a couch potato. Since he retired last spring, I mean, I think all his get up and go seems to have got up and gone. <laughs> Let's look at some of the key points. So the first one was I'm fed up with cleaning. I'm fed up with cleaning. I'm fed up with my husband sitting around the house all day doing nothing. I'm fed up with my husband sitting around the house all day doing absolutely nothing. I'd be completely fed up with being a couch potato. I'd be completely fed up with being a couch potato. Let's listen to the whole thing again. I'm fed up with cooking. I'm fed up with cleaning. And above all, I'm fed up with my husband sitting around the house all day doing absolutely nothing. I don't know how he does it. He just sits there in front of the TV. And ends up fast asleep half the time. It's amazing. If I were him, I'd be completely fed up with being a couch potato. Since he retired last spring, I mean, I think all his get up and go seems to have got up and gone. <laughs> the origin of fed up. So, where does the expression come from? Well, it comes from the late 19th century when very rich people were compared to the geese or the ducks who were fed. To be nice and fat so that their liver would get really big for foie gras. It's difficult to explain, so here's what I mean in Japanese.
Let's talk about a few alternative phrases to fed up. So the first one is going to be, I've had my fill of you. I've had it up to here with you. I'm tired of you. I'm sick of you. I'm sick and tired of you. So you can use those expressions as alternatives to fed up. Of course, they all have a little bit of a different meaning, but they are similar. It's homework time. Okay, now, so this Japanese sentence, I want you to change it into English. Okay, so it says, Senkyo no news ni mo unzari shiteru yo. So uh, put your answer in the comments box. Comment on the tokoro ni kotae o kaite kudasai ne. Ato de check shimasu yo. Okay, I'm looking forward to checking your answers. Give it a go. So today we learned about the expression fed up. Uh, I hope you can use it the next time you have an English conversation. Okay, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.